Question for him now here in this first half, and you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. On second down, they'll run with White, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw. Eason to the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Escaping the pressure right, and that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Looking to throw, Eason, eluding the pressure right, and that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Off play action. Eason. Flush to his right. That's caught by his tight end, Matt Lacoste. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. That's a jet sweep into the hands of Edelman, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. Second and 13. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Adrian Colbert, he was right there in coverage. His defense tried to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. 
on their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week when he was over 70%. Right now, he's under 50%. Well, that comes from extra game film, extra time. You know those guys watched him all week, saw how precise he was, and constructed a defense to try and chip away at that, and thus far they've been successful. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They run again with Breda. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Gets this one left side to Pettis. A big play there for the Niners. 42 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Give them maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Brita trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Set, 10 logo. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Goodwin able to haul it in. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Back to throw. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Matt Breida with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Pats at the line, ready to go. They've been settling quite a bit. They've been able to move the football some, but they've just been settling. That's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard. I love that word you picked, settling, because nowadays in this NFL, 
You're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high powered. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. I'm letting you know right now, you better break two. Operating from the gun, Eason, and this one's incomplete. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number. Not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that nowhere to escape, and he goes down. D. Ford in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Throwing on third and long. Eason. Got a man open. That's Harry. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. A handoff to Brita to begin the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Second and nine now from the 21. Back now in Foxborough. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. He'll drop to throw. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. The Niners on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and nine. On third down, a run from Breda. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. I think it's pretty easy to say this is a ginormous third down opportunity here for the defense. And I'm just going to tell you, Brandon, from my experiences, what you're saying in the huddle to each other is all the right things. Read your keys. Do your job. But the biggest one, you don't have to do more. Just do what you can do, and you can make this play. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, Eason. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 15 yards on that one. And New England has a first down. First down, here's White. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. The last run got six. Now second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. On first down, it's White. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Looking to throw on second down. Eason, it's complete. James White. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Back to throw. Eason, and he's...